Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of our Let's Play of Victoria 3 as Mexico. We're still in the early days here in 1846 currently. Uh, we are about to have a little kerfuffleage with the Navajo, who for some reason don't just want us to colonize all their stuff. I don't know why. Go figure. Um, otherwise, things are going pretty well. We have joined the British um, market, which I think think is a good idea. We've got a customs union in the British market, I think is going to work out fairly well for us. Um, and I'm hoping will give us a little bit of a bit of muscle defensively when the United States of America comes knocking. They have manifested their destiny or have hit their button to try to do it. They do have claims over everything over here right now. Um, and we would like to keep that, especially Texas and California. Those are going to be some big money makers. I mean, if there was a war and we had to give up, you know, Utah and Nevada, we could probably live with that, for example. But ideally, we'd like to keep everything. Um, I don't know, like, when we got the pop-up for their claims, I don't know if that happened earlier than in my tests or not. Um, all I remember in my tests is the war was gonna, was declared in 1859, plus or minus one year, every time I did a little sample. Although I wasn't necessarily starting from a fresh scratch save every time, so it's possible that, you know, it's influenced by other things. Um, in any case, currently... We're building a few more iron mines, coal mines, and starting our railway, which just that tech just unlocked. We're currently working on the Bessemer pro process here so we can get a little bit more steel production. Uh, and then after that, I think I'm going to dip into some military uh, training so that we can, you know, hopefully not die. Pro tip, dying makes it a lot harder for you to play video games, so try to avoid it. We did finally pass per tax cap cap taxation after failing it the, uh, the first time around. We got landed voting. We got religious schools and charity hospitals. And that's probably going to be it for a law changes for a while. The Catholic Church wants us to pass monarchy. Until we can get some more liberal people in here, I don't think we're going to be able to pursue any human rights, which is unfortunate. Mm. Stay, out of, stay out of what I consider to be my territory, United States of America. Uh, currently, our relationship is still cordial with them. It'll be interesting to see if that stays. Nostros used to be influential. They're now powerful. We do have some pretty good relationship with things. No one hates us either, which is nice. Infrastructure boost, the authority, which we are putting to good use to run um, a lot of road maintenance stuff. Okay, Veracruz, that's in Mexico. Oaxaca, nothing being built right now, but very soon there will be. That's going to be okay. We don't have the maintenance going on in Sonora, although I guess we could. We have just enough points. I may as well... Where is it? Oh, over here. Let me do that. I want to make sure to cancel it. And I mean, it's not being built right now, but we may as well just plan it. I'm not running a law, so I don't care about the enactment time modifier. Okay. Check our prices. Wood's quite high. Iron is still really high. But I mean, it's the whole British market, right? It's We are probably producing way more iron than we need in Mexico directly but the British market there. Still, it's nice to have because we're making tons of money by selling our iron overseas. It's great for our economy. We should just be able to run over this easy peasy. Sent in exile. What do you push? Total separation. I would love total separation. How do we... Can't invite you. Oh, so you'd have to be Catholic to be invited in the first place. What are you? Of our state religion. I mean, I see our culture. Am I being blind? I don't see an entry for religion. Unless you explicitly don't have one. That might be the situation. If we take a look at a character like the leader of the Catholics here. Culture Mexican. Yeah, where does it... Ma? I mean, you're part of the Catholic Church ideology group, interest group, which presumably means you're Catholic, but it doesn't... Does it not actually tell us? I, I mean, probably I'm just missing it, but... Oh, well, all right. Railways go, private construction, some glass works, which glass prices are fairly high, so that's okay. Okay, we finished that. So, I mean, we can just wait, and eventually that will end, so that's going to be fine. Okay, 
iron is no longer crazy expensive. And of course, our local prices are lower, mostly in Mexico uh, state itself, because that's where most of our iron mines are. But when we do build there, it should be a decent price. We're getting a railway here in Mexico. Although probably, yeah, its infrastructure is currently fine because we've got the um, promote, what's it called? We've got the road maintenance, uh, which is helping. But when we cancel that, it does go negative. Okay, best more project for steel mills. So... Actually, since we're in a British market, we can probably run this, yeah, because there's some lead being produced there. Also, we'll lower the amount of wood we use, which is nice. Okay, steel mill, go to Bessemer process. It's gonna consume more iron, but produce more steel. Yeah, which is fine, just a more efficient thing. Um, it does no longer employ as many uneducated labor and instead wants some skilled engineers and machinists, but that's all right. We might need to get ourselves a university soonish. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna flip to this soon. Actually, we might be able to do gas street lights. Yeah, let's do that. Cause if we look at our pops, which we haven't done in a while, if we take a look at our lower strata here, right? Um, and their needs. Is there another way in this mouse over? Yeah, largest expenses: grain, furniture, and clothes. Although we could substitute like grain for another food stuff if we got like food things. Would be nice to boost that, especially since oh, GDP flat a bit. Population is growing. It looks right here. Does it feel like like it was going up, but it feels like it's going up faster since then? I wonder if this is when we joined the um, sphere of influence. Okay, let me double check production. Is there anything else? Oh, nitroglycerin for our mines. Maybe we should pick that up first before some military techs. How long is this going to be? Thirty-five months. Okay. Let's do it. That is actually going to be really very helpful. Money's going crazy here. Enact protectionism. Well, that might not be so bad because we have mercantilism right now. Protectionism is... Oh, is it worse? Okay, we have no priority right now, so it's 15% tariffs on imports, 5% on exports. It goes to 10 and 10. So all it does is balance it out. Makes imports a little cheaper, makes exports a little... Mm. Not much of a difference. Potentially give us more revenue. Change in revenue for current tariff law. Yeah, I mean, we really want to move to free trade probably to get more things. Okay, I don't think we particularly care about that. We're about to get an election. Construction is constructing. Can I... Oh. It'll give up at some point here. Hideo's theoretically is on its way down, although it's going to take a while. There might be some events we get to accelerate it as well. Railway in Mexico. Colonization of Texas is done. Nice! The proper state. Oh, you're incorporated as well. Okay. Port of gin and beer. Conservative party's anti-alcohol. No. Uh, free trade party is industrialist. Actually, I would love to encourage industrialists. Okay, done. Peace is back. Hooray, hurrah. Colonies are colonizing. Oh, I can start a new um, interest. I guess because we have a presence in the Great Plains now, we don't need to define an interest group. Well, although... I can put it back. I'll put it there just to say. Um, We could do it for diplomatic reasons as well. Maybe I'll declare an interest in Brazil so we can do some diplomacy down there. Yeah, we have to wait for that to actually click in. Colonization of Utah is done. No pro- oh no, there it is. In between picks. And this is already going, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, so we have our first railroad. I think what we're gonna do with the railroad here is I'm gonna go and enable wooden passenger carriages immediately. So we actually produce... Well, does it produce transportation by default? It does. I suppose I could do it where appropriate instead of globally. I don't know. We, I mean, we're likely going to want passenger travel enabled everywhere. Yeah, let's just go for it. 
done. So, in Mexico itself, as things get hired there, we should see, start to see this drop. Subsidize is on, although theoretically these should be relatively profitable right now. Okay, election. Conservative Party wins with ease, which is currently what's running. They still have this enabled. Out of curiosity, I could pull in the industrialists. Now, if we take a look at the industrialists and what laws they would support. Yeah, okay. We're going to pull them in. And then if we click on them again. Oh, was I wrong? Is this not actually helping us the way I thought it was? Free trade, maybe. Let's if I, yeah, let's do this. Radicalize the rural folk. I don't know how dangerous that might be. The big jump. We may have to back down. So far, okay, so no, no coup stuff. No revolution. All right. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the railway mode. I'm gonna sort by job seekers just because they're gonna be more populated states. And I'm gonna click anywhere that doesn't have a railroad queued up. I'm gonna go ahead And I work our way down to at least this. And I'm going to be ready to, like, alt-click and put things ahead of the queue. To stay ahead of these demands. Okay, wood demand's actually fairly high. And it's the entire market, so we don't have a shortage yet, but it is pricey. We could consider building a little bit more lumber. Coal prices. Actually, coal prices are surprisingly not that high. I'm going to delay this other coal mine in Oaxaca. Maybe, you know what, let's boost this motor industry in Mexico. Let's do it this way, just to make sure. Now we're clearly getting some internationally. And you know what, oh, we've got so much money. Do I want to build more construction sectors? Um, We could cancel some consumption taxes, but I don't know. You know. It might help with loyalty. I could drop taxes for a little while. That'd also be useful. We're making the least amount of money on wine. I'm gonna go and cancel the wine consumption tax. Can increase wages. What else do we do with like excess money? I mean, we're gonna need to fund our military at some point. Actually, let me double check. Are we on the most advanced modes here and here? We are. And we're gonna want money saved up for when we start working the monarch the, the military, but I think I'm gonna max out the construction in Mexico. Construction sectors build very quickly. I think we'll appreciate it. Could make a push towards steel frame buildings. But I'm not sure that that's going to be reasonable in the amount of time we've got to work with here. Oh, there we go. We got a deficit going on. Just fine. Some amount of deficit is okay. We got to spend money, make more money. Logistics, more conscriptable battalions. United States still cordial currently. Coal mines go. Motor industry, yet yeah, we're going to be happy to have just one of those, just so we get our own trickle in of engines. And keep an eye on things. Let's say Fiat is now on voting. Wow, that's powering through really quickly. We're not going to be able to subsidize as many things, but we're going to get much more private construction, which is going to keep helping with our finances. Also unlocks a, a corporation slot. Okay, these goods are quite expensive. And yeah, some of these aren't necessarily constructing efficiently. As long as I, I suppose I remember to toggle it off. Road maintenance there. Oh yeah, here. Veracruz. Okay, we're not currently building in Veracruz. Oaxaca. Well, there's going to be a railway soon. Oh, Veracruz is in the list next. Put it back in. I guess when this finishes in Mexico, I could cancel the road maintenance there, put it in Zacatecas. Just trying to stay ahead of these things. Crooked connections. Um, rural folk minus two. 
You know, let's not make them hate me anymore. We can slow it down a little bit. It's fine. They've already got their pitchforks. Go, go, railways. Prices are still reasonable, except for wood. Uh, losing great power prestige. Really? 114 to stay a major power. I mean, GDP... Oh, GDP is kind of flatlined for a while. Huh. I wonder if there's some good import routes. Vietnam. I mean, that's not much. Dutch paper. Prussian paper. Might need more bureaucracy. I wonder... One of the things we haven't checked at all this entire game... How's our taxation? Okay. We've got enough taxation stuff everywhere. We've got a little bit of bureaucracy to spare. Not much, but some. Mexico's definitely need more infrastructure. Is its railway fully staffed? It is. Oh yeah, we're gonna plan another one. I mean, again, when I'm running road maintenance in Mexico, it's fine, but we're cycling things around. Enactment success chance 5%. Political movement support for agrarianism. No, no, we're gonna go number one. Denied writing submission. Increase chance. Thank you. 28%. It's not a high number, but... Yeah, we might have to build some more lumber industry. Mine collapsed. Yeah, we're going to have to go. Small price to pay. A little bit of radicalization. Mostly, mostly, yeah, the rural folk. They're so unhappy people are radicalizing that way. Any chance, like, what kind of other law might they be in favor for? I mean, they'd be fine with the suffrage, although there's not a lot of support for it. Homesteading I'd be fine with as well. Oh, yeah, they don't want migration. Oh, that's something to check out with the industrialists. Could we pass a better migration law? more powerful. Seems a little scary. Yeah, we're not going to give them monarchy. I don't know what the deficit, the penalty with this is. I'm assuming a bunch of them are going to become cranky. There'll be a penalty to their approval, but they're pretty loyal right now, so I think we're fine. Um, no, here. Actually, what I'll do, I'll cancel all these because I don't know building things. Zacatecas will get you back. Guerrero will put you in there. And Durango will get that going as well. And then next is going to be Oaxaca. Okay. And then maybe back in Mexico afterwards. Uh, armed forces are pretty low. I don't have the points to suppress them right now. We might want to. Oh, I have a lot of Diplo stuff going on. How kind of improved relations can we get? To Brazil, Austria. Oh, then we're out, but that's okay. So US, still a good relation. Again, that's going to take a dip at some point. And I think that might be a warning for war. Yeah, we've got to start working on the military soon. Okay, our economy is overall pretty good. Nitroglycerin discovered is huge. Okay, we're going to flip over to military. We're going to get per percussion caps so we can build potentially one armed industry ourselves. I'm just going to double check the mode on my urban buildings. Um, some places trans uh, the uh, well, that's transportation. Wait, this makes you produce transportation. Oh, I thought this consumed transportation to produce services, but no. OK, let's not worry about that then right now. We do in our journal. So steam engine time requires a level three motor industry and branching out requires us to have a bunch of uh, buildings with transportation enabled. If we go and make the jump, for I mean, steam engine time shouldn't be too bad. We can just drop a couple more um, motor industries, get it to level three, and that will satisfy that. And that's not bad. And we will use these motors as we build more um, 
more railways. We might want another steel mill. Yeah, Mexico really is going to constantly want more railways. Um, can we do... I, I don't think I can immediately switch everything to rail transportation mode, but fairly soon, maybe? In theory, our success isn't that far away. I think I'll do this, actually. It's only 5% boost, but it's still pretty good. A bunch more loyalists is kind of nice. I mean, maybe the people losing popularity would have been fine. Maybe we can cancel this one. And activate it in Mexico. There we go. Trying to make good use out of those road edicts now. Trying to squeeze in a much higher standard. The decree cost goes down. Trade route bureaucracy. Actually, we could use some bureaucracy. Oh, construction sector throughput? Yeah, baby. Let's do that. Okay, negative influence. Oh, no, just flipped over. Because I think we finished sucking up to someone. We do have enough authority for something else. We'll just sit on it for now. Okay. The center's break rates. Enactment success chance. I really don't want that. We'll do this. It'll give us a... It gives us a setback, but that's fine. Increase success chance to slow things down, but that's okay. Now, let's talk about our military. So, we've got to pick... We're going to be building an army. We've got infantry, artillery, and cavalry to choose from. We should be on the best and latest for everything here. And we are. Now... The infantry does have the best defense, which I think is mostly what we're looking for. Right? It has 25 defense per unit. Uh, artillery has more offense. because it's So 20 and 25. 35 and 20. 30 and 15. It does have the bigger kill rate and more battle occupation with the cavalry, which is nice. It feels like if you're trying to push forward, you're going to want a lot of artillery. Because it's got the most offense per, per unit, per building. Although artillery is fairly expensive to build because um, it needs artillery input, whereas the Lancers need small arms and grain, and the infantry needs just small arms and less of it. A big thing we're going to want to do is hold the line with the United States. What I'm wondering about is, does it make sense to have a couple of armies just with infantry, just set on defense, and then one army that's maybe like a 50-50 mix? Apparently, I think according to the last set of patches, I think during the beta, they didn't have any limitations. You can make a 100% artillery army. But I think now, um, if, you're, if your non-infantry is more than 50%, I think your army takes an organization hit. But what we could do is we could have a, an aggressive one that is half infantry, half artillery for the most offense, or the Lancers also have pretty good offense, and then we get the better battle occupation. So maybe half infantry and then a quarter and a quarter or something around there. A lot of people on Reddit, when you do the lookup, there's a lot of people that are quoting like a 3-1-1 ratio, but no one has a source for it. Everyone is mostly just saying, well, I've heard it's 3-1-1, and then other people just repeating it as fact, but where did that originally come up? That being said, it sort of makes sense because that's very close to, let's say a 4-1-1 would be half infantry, and then the other half split between these two for balance. And then with a 3-1-1, you end up with a little bit more balance towards infantry to give you a buffer in case. I don't know how the losses are simulated. I actually don't know exactly what the combat mechanics are in Viki. It's not, the, the Viki wiki is not as updated as um, the a lot of the other Paradox games. I don't know why. I mean, to be fair, I haven't really contributed to either. And by haven't really, I mean, I've literally never contributed to that wiki. Um, so, you know, that's also on me. But I don't know if there's a good breakdown of the mechanics and how the front line works and can the front line collapse. Like, I've got a really good understanding of EU4, for example. But yeah, we might look at something like that. The other thing is, what, some of our leaders could get traits that are quite good for offense and defense. Um, so you get different modes. So this guy here just has regular offense, regular defense. But you can see there's extra types of orders available. And so if we had someone who had, ah, oh, this guy's got all the traits. So yeah, because we could go with a like a super defense, right? The difference here, so defend front is normal. 50% reduced speed plus 10% defense. Adamant defense 
is 15% more defense. It doesn't actually slow down their advancement, but it gives us more defense, better dug-in chance, eats more supplies, but that seems really good. So this guy here is really good at defense. This guy here has nothing particular going on. We could look at other generals as well, and there might be... Well, none of these have anything that makes much of a difference. This enables coordinated interception. Which is actually a naval thing. Huh. Village is interesting. Not as good as occupying stuff, but does a lot of damage. And then we can use delaying taxes for defense. And he's got cautious as well, which has got the cautious advance. I mean, there might be some interesting options there. So, yeah, um, I wonder if that sort of thing is useful. Also, I think there's a way... Yeah, you got a one here, but zero there. I'm confused. There's a way for us to... That's the upgrade. Oh, hold on. It's because you're at older cannon artillery. You need you have to be upgraded to the newest. Okay, let's do that before something breaks down. Hmm, okay. Yeah, when I... Okay, when I trash an army... It gives me the chance of moving people. Moving the whole army to something else. Can I do that with an individual subgroup? Can I say take this cavalry and move it to some other group? I don't know. Maybe we won't worry about it. We'll leave what's in there now. Okay, we are going down on bureaucracy here. We don't have that many trade routes. I think we're going to have to plan in Mexico itself. We'll get ourselves another... Wait, do we not have any government offices? Oh, it's under development. There it is. And you guys are on the latest mode, right? Yeah, filing cabinets. Just want to stay ahead of this. Paper is darned expensive. Nearly done this queue. Okay, everything's working. What I'm going to do here is I will go into our building mode. And every building that can be on rail transportation, I'm going to go ahead and do it. This will lead to some transportation shortages somewhere. But then we're going to build rail in those places. Branching out, successfully completed. That's great. We have more railway building throughput. Motor Industries throughput, or we can get a tech boost. I think I'm just going to go for the tech boost here. Apparently we have a silk shortage. We can get tons from France. We've got enough convoys. Yeah, that's going to eat into my bureaucracy some more. But again, we've got another government administration coming in, so that's going to be okay. So what I'm going to do... Is anyone anyway still building a railway? Just Mex... Oh, actually, three places. As I say, I'm going to go to the States. I'm going to go down and see places where it's expensive. But we know we're building a railway in Mexico. Jalisco is not, and it's still expensive. So we'll queue one up. Although you're not fully staffed yet. No, that's cash reserves. You are fully staffed. Never mind. So I will queue that up. Bajio. Yeah, expensive. Go. Yucatan. You're not expensive. So you didn't have a mode or you've got plenty to go. Oaxaca. You up another one? I mean, it's not maxed out, but it's still it's still pretty pricey, so that's going to be fine. Veracruz, same thing. Not maxed out, but pricey. Zacatecas is fine. Guerrero's fine. Rio's fine. Texas is not fine and has a shortage. We could build ports for it, but let's go ahead and get a railway. Durango is fine. Sinola is not. Chihuahua. The year 51 okay and i think after this we're gonna go crazy for barracks unless we're specifically addressing a shortage some of these places might not even have the workers but we're mostly okay Tapas, Nevada. unless we lose some of these 
because they might be something America comes knocking for, but... Uh, let's say fire. Yeah, hopefully we can pass that, and then we can see if we, my immigration laws... Ooh, money went super negative all of a sudden. Well, we're probably paying for a lot of railways. I'm gonna go with this. We can see if we can push some more people over to the intelligentsia. Yeah? Keep failing this. We went did good progress. And now that our success chance is higher, we're getting XCOM'd over and over in the final vote here. A little bit of tax waste. That's not really where our economy is tanking, but... I really don't want to spend more money. I don't actually care, I think, for the Conservative Party. Although we do still want to keep the um, armed forces out of the government if we can. There might be some min-max. Oh, we have negative authority. That's not what I want. Um, we might be able to do some min-max with our, like, road maintenance. Maybe, you know what, let's cancel some of these. Because if we get more authority, you know what, I'm going to cancel all these. Um, it'll lower the enactment time. Oh, there we go. We got laissez fire. All right. So that's a pretty big change in our government setup here. It does establish a new company, give us the ability. Mexican Gold Corporation. I like the idea. Oh, I bet you I can build gold mines. Have any of them expired? Not yet. That's actually kind of sick. Or Jalisco Premium Metals. Steel mill throughput, minting, loyalists. We, we do do a lot of mining. And do this. We might still do the gold mine corp. But that might be later. Okay, so we're spending less money on construction directly here. So that's going to improve the budget that way. There should be a lot more private construction going on. Um, Can we? There we go. No migration control. It'll radicalize the rural folk. They're pretty pissy. I'm still hoping they're not big enough to actually cause us an issue. Team engine time completed. Okay, cross-border investment. You know what? I'm going to go for it. Oh, they're belligerent. Yeah, probably isn't going to make a difference. Uh, we're still improving. Oh, they're all... Okay, they're amicable over here. We might be able to buy a little bit extra time. Can we burn this letter? The leader, the, the landowners, I'm going to specifically... I'm going to do that specifically. I actually don't necessarily want to take all the momentum away from the Conservative Party, because again, I think our armed forces are part of the Liberal Party because of the decisions I made earlier, and I want to keep the armed forces out. So, but I'm going to specifically tar and feather the leader of the landowners. We've got engines of progress here. We're going to get more tech progress towards steel railway cars, which that was a double dip on that. We probably have a bunch. Inefficient agriculture. Oh. <sighs> yeah, more migration is going to have to be okay. Conservative Party wins again. With the industrialists in, we're still sitting at 96. That's great. And yeah, if we can eliminate the um, migration control, that's going to be very good for us. Okay, the industrialists love me infinitely. We can get the landowners back to the noblesse oblige here. Yeah, more investment group. Money's going down fairly quickly. Uh, what I could do is I could I could pause my own construction here. I don't think I'm gonna. I'm wondering if we can get a new consumption tax again. Oh, opium for a decent amount of cash. Luxury furniture. And tea. Taxing teas never cause any problems for anyone, right? I mean, we're still bleeding. But I think in a manageable way. Ooh. Well, that's a pretty big debuff regardless. I really am hoping to run that. How's our corporation? Prosperity going up. Good. Overbill in construction. Oh, corporate charge. Oh, plus one corporation. Huh. OK. 
Okay, that's the same screen here. Yeah, we'll establish Mexican Gold Corporation. I think we're going to end up... Which, speaking of, that reminds me. Any gold mine? Still not available. We just haven't had any of our fields expire yet. Because that'll help our economy a lot. Okay, study phase. So we've advanced. Still not great. Wood and iron is expensive. Maybe I should build a few more of those before we finish all the railroad stuff. Good, that's fine. Research in the percussion cap, that seems to be okay too. Construction company bonus, no construction company bonus there, citizens of the world. Ah, 20% enactment chance. Yep, okay. Back up to 33, that's helpful. All right, let me pause all. I'm just going to say, I don't think that pauses the private construction, but we're going to pause all the government construction. Just pay off a little bit of our debt here. Yeah, our money's going great. Just make sure we don't, because we want to limit how much we're paying in interest. Uh, right now, 6k per, yeah. We'll eliminate some of that. Foreign faiths. Yeah, we're going to accept immigrants who do not practice our faith for more enactment success chance. Does make the Catholic Church upset. They're going to be just barely outside of pious fiction. Hopefully they'll burn off fairly quickly. Amicobo, but they are belligerent. 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 Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they want to conquer states owned by Mexico. Okay. No migration control. Okay, we're up to 57%. That's fantastic. Just burn off a little bit more of this. And then we'll unpause the construction again. Although by uh, doing this, it does also tweak the price of these goods a lot. Although being in the British market, maybe it's a little less dramatic than it could be. Okay, let's resume. Oh, road maintenance. We do have road maintenance still going on in Sonora. Right over there. Cancel that. And then Jalisco, we'll go and put it there because there's a lot of construction going there simultaneously. Both iron mines and lumber. It's very helpful. Okay, financially, things are a little bit nicer now. Working on your banana plantation. If Banana Cabana is watching, I hope you're enjoying that. Still would like to raise our standard of living by making sure we've got a little bit of food production everywhere. And then some of the basic, the clothing and furniture. Rousing speech. Plus 15% chance. All right, we're up to 72. Yeah, and I'm comfortable with our economy now. Cancel that. And then the enactment time a little bit more. General staff. Okay, so we've got a new training mode. Okay. 53. Yeah, we got to start building the military. We've got our no migration control. So hopefully, what we're going to see is our population skyrocket. Because our standard living is actually pretty... Or our traction... Oh, it's going down. In Jalisco. There might have been some internal stuff going on. We'd run some greener grasses campaign. How many... No, we got lots of job seekers here. The transportation cost is still high. Oh. I guess all your mines and lumber mills are all using it, so it kind of makes sense. Not enough qualifications. Yeah, but if you build it, they might come. Okay. I'm going to get these armies. Yeah, that's going to bring you up to 20 infantry. Do the same thing here. Now, I don't know if it matters as much what states they come from. There used to be some optimization for that. Ironclad, I mean, I don't know how much we care about that, and no one can import. So I think Great Britain, probably Great Britain itself, changed um, one of its modes for its ships to need ironclads, but none, no one's building any. Uh, 
going with those railways. I think we're still going to appreciate them. Oh, um, first of all, no, I'm at one on one. Oh, because I'm in minor power, so I don't have more. That's too bad. Improve relations with, uh, we could try with the U.S. again. Okay, they're down to cordial. Yeah, that's definitely dropping. Percussion cap is done. Uh, artillery foundry. I don't know if we've got those. Army defense. We want field work for that. And industry-wise, munitions plant. Mexico still needs more infrastructure. Should I build it in Jalisco? I don't know. No, I'm going to keep going in Mexico. And it does have another railway in the queue already. Okay. We're going to get one arms industry and an artillery foundry all in the state of Mexico itself. Doing a lot of construction there. You know what? All these barracks. I think I am going to go ahead and alt-click another railway here. We'll also start doing road maintenance in Mexico. First of all, it's going to fix its slight infrastructure shortage. And we've got a lot of construction queue in Mexico, including one railway right at the top. Oh, it's, it's private industry. That's what it is. I'm like, where was that railway in Mexico? Private industry. But I think we'll queue on up anyway. I think there'll definitely be a use for it. Money's dipping down a little bit. I guess I got to put a cut in here. My plan was for this to be the last episode I record today. That's three episodes I've recorded in one day here. Uh, and then possibly wait for the next patch, because I know... Convoy rating is currently disabled on patch 1.5.9, which is what I'm on. Um, and there, I think there's some other military things going up. And I think we're cruising towards war with the U.S. So I might wait to continue this on the next mini patch version, which hopefully will be quick enough that by the time you guys watch this episode, the next day, there'll already be another video queued up. But at this point, I can't guarantee that. So for all I know, it might be there might be a few days in between. This is episode three and until episode four drops. But, you know, cross your fingers. Hopefully that's not the case. Also, hopefully at some point we can make the rural folk a little bit happier, but it might be tricky. We might, if we get some extra authority, we might just want to suppress them. I should, before I do anything else, we do have a pin for the munitions industry. Munitions plant level five. Interesting. Dealing in arms. I wonder how valuable that might be. I don't know if I'll worry about it, but I will leave it pinned as a reminder. We got a lot of time to, for it to come back up. So fingers crossed. Water tube boiler. Yeah, it just means a lot fewer employees, which I'm not worried about doing. Let me, before I leave, let me double check my building modes. Furniture manufacturer, if we went to precision, you would theoretically make a little bit more money. Oh yeah, you'd use less wood, more hardwood, which looks like it'd balance the cost more, which is fine. Water tube boiler, we don't need for you the same here, right? Yeah. Yeah, we don't have a shortage of people yet. I guess I will run this. There's still places with transportation shortages. I'll just kind of tank some of it, but I'm going to say that's okay. And then maybe we won't have to rely on railroad as many places. Maybe I didn't need to queue up as many as I did with that in mind. Um, Yeah, we don't need more hardwood. Well, this one would make a little bit more. Okay, we'll flip one more over to some hardwood. And, oh, condensing, condensing engine pump. Yes, we want that. Now, this might cause us a coal shortage. Oh, and nitroglycerin I never got around to making. Oh, my God. Will. Now, there's a chance that explosives and stuff. Yeah, explosive shortage. Can I import some? I can get a lot from Prussia. And I can get a pretty good price from the French market as well. So let's get both of those. That might not fix the explosive shortage. We might have to make our own little explosive things, especially if we're still working on arms factories. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cancel these railway options here. This one started, but you know what? Just barely. We cancel you as well. Um, the idea is maybe our transportation costs balance a little bit more with our urban centers. And I'm kind of worried about getting our barracks going. So yeah, one of the other things too is hopefully by giving up time for the next... Uh, patch to come out and you know make sure the military is working okay there might be more opportunity for me to spot some discussions on the paradox forums or on the subreddit for um army composition optimization 
so we'll see. I think what we might do is we might do three armies, both all targeting maybe about 30 battalions. Um, and then I guess at some point we got to throw in some conscripts in there as well, the pad our numbers. And I'd say it's got a lot, but again, if we're on the defense, we don't need as many. And if we can sway Great Britain in, hopefully without too much work, without having to give up too much, then we might be in a good place. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.